<laughs> Hi there, everybody. <laughs> we're having fun again. It's uh, hump day. That's why we're all laughing and, and smiling. You're Jake again. And I am Jake again. Don't it's, you get tired of this? Why? It makes it honestly. It makes dressing really, really easy. <laughs> so because you know you're exactly, a guy. you shouldn't have had problems getting dressed in the first place. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> So, yep, I'm in my red today. On my okay. Jake, my Jake outfit is my Wednesday outfit. It's Do good. Do you have them labeled Monday, Tuesday, uh, That's Wednesday? right, exactly. But Tony is going to embroider his, the days of the week on his clothes. Oh, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. So, uh, welcome back. We've got another fun project for you today from our friends at the bike shop. <laughs> One of our favorite places. It's our bicycle embroidery place. Christine either does Kimberbell or bike, bike shop. shop. <laughs> Occasionally a creative kiwi in there sometimes. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. So uh, it's a cute project. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, we've also, we got in so much fabric. You would not believe how much fabric we got in. A lot. Yeah, it was awesome. So Scary it was lot. like Christmas. Kate was back there on her hands and knees all day uh, going through the fabric. So uh, we got some fun stuff to show you with that too. Yeah. Yeah, which is good. Um, Maybe some new Christmas fabric that just came in. Oh, it's really super Christmas. cute, too, by the way. Yeah, it, you're going to like the Christmas fabric. So get your pens ready, I think. And we may have made a Christmas bundle. Oh, did you really? Of course we did. Oh, wow. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's right by me. <laughs> Even Good matches job. your outfit today. They're just so on the ball, aren't <laughs> they? Yeah, it does. You're right. You're That's why I wore my Jake outfit today. <laughs> what? Is that a year out of the loop again? Oh, always. <laughs> <laughs> always, <laughs> always. <laughs> That's right. Um, announcements. Um, tea party is on Friday. So keep in mind, you and Saturday, yes. So Friday and Saturday. Um, you are going to get an email from me tomorrow. So uh, that won't go out until tomorrow morning. So just uh, look for it tomorrow morning in your email boxes. If you don't have it by 5 o'clock, make sure you get a hold of us and we can get that taken care of before uh, we go home. Uh, tomorrow. So, um, anything we have a else? Winner for yesterday. Oh, we do have a winner. Yay. And Christine has a joke. I got a joke too, by the way. So, we are going to give away um, Val's project from yesterday. It's a pillow. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I like it more as a pillow than a pincushion. It's a big pincushion. It is a big pincushion. And it's a perfect pillow. You could take it on a plane. Yeah, that's what you ought to make with it is one of those little neck pillow things. That's a pretty small pillow to take on a plane. No, that's yeah. true. You need it to make it a little bit bigger. A dog. newborn baby. Aw, that's so sweet. Anyway, <laughs> this is going to Linda Bradney. So we will send that down to the Centennial Store. For Congratulations, you, Linda. Linda. Yay. Um, and jokes. Yes. You want my, but let me do mine first. It's really funny. I don't want to you show you up or anything. You didn't bring the computer over. Oh. I know. I memorized it. That's okay. never good. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. really, really quick. So um, why are ghosts such bad liars? Because you can see right through them. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Real. Wait. How about what, more. one more? There's one more. Why are ghosts such good cheerleaders? Because they've got a lot of spirit. <laughs> you um, like that? Um, yes, there are spots available for the tea party, Bev. Okay. Oh, I already I talk loud. Like, Do you want me to nervous. unplug it? No, it's okay. 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 Mine's a little bit longer of a joke. See, they all thought mine. Lots of. Oh, grab a cup of coffee. <laughs> it is a little bit longer. Okay. Badly needed to use the restroom. Walked into the local Hooters. The place was hopping with music, music, <laughs> music and loud conversation. Once in a while, the lights would turn off. Each time the lights would go out, the place would erupt into cheers. However, when the revealer saw the nun, the room went dead silent. She walked up to the bartender and asked, May I please use the restroom? The bartender replied, Okay, but I should warn you, there is a statue of a naked man in there wearing only a fig leaf. Away, said the nun. So the bartender showed the nun to the back of the restaurant. After a few minutes, she came back out, and the whole place uh, stopped just long enough to give the nun a huge round of applause. She went to the bartender and said, "Sir, I don't understand. Why did they applaud for me just because I went to the restaurant?" 
Well, now they know you're one of us, said the bartender. Would you like a drink? No, thank you, but I still don't understand, said puz- said the puzzled nun. You see, laughed the bartender. Every time someone lifts the fig leaf on the statue, the lights go out. Now, how about that drink? <laughs> it is so cute. It is cute. Okay, are we ready to get started? Um, yes, we okay. are. We can unplug this, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yes, we did get in some Tula fabric, and it has been split between the stores. So, if you ordered a bundle, you should be getting a call from your store to let you know that's ready. If not, if you want to go in and see what we've got, um, I think we got about 12 bolts yeah. in yeah, stock right like now at each of the stores. Perfect. Okay. So, today we are going to be making this Halloween um, you can do it as like a little hanger. Um, so it says cobwebs are part of the decor. And so I have done two different ones. So one I put a little uh, yarn on and the other one you could do is just like as like a little hanger or something. Um, and so there are kits for today. Um, and this is just done in a five by seven hoop, but there's a purple kit or I guess a gray kit. Um, so on the purple one, the back fabric is like I love that fabric, yes. And then on this one, it says the trick or treat or smell me, smell my feet. Um, and the kids are three ninety nine. dollars um, So they are just pretty simple. They have two pieces of fabric in them and then a piece of the air light batting. Um, and this is from the bike shop. I have not got it up on the website just yet, um, but I will do that as soon as we're done today. Okay. Perfect. All right. I don't have a kit, so I'm going to Is, um... Is the sound okay? I've had a couple of people comment on the sound. So if you can let us know if you are having a sound problem. Rebecca, if you are not hearing anything at all, you might want to check the, whether you've got your speaker on or maybe log out and log back in again. Um, it seems like everybody is hearing us. We had a couple of people saying it was going in and out, but um, sounds like people are at least hearing. Okay, so I am going to bring my design up in the machine. And there is just one size for this one. Um, I'm sure you could size it up if you wanted to, make it bigger, but there is just the one size and it does fit into a five by seven hoop. Okay, and then the first stitch is going to go directly on top of your stabilizer, and that is going to be a placement stitch for your batting. So in your kit, you're gonna have a backing piece of fabric, a front piece, and a batting piece. And I am just using dissolve away mesh and the batting in the kit is the air light batting the, or the color me cotton batting okay so then you're going to place your batting down making sure that it covers up all of your stitch lines here and then you are going to tack down your batting so the air light batting comes on a roll. It is a five yard roll, 30 inches wide and is $29.99. Can you talk a little bit louder, Christine? Yeah. People are asking for Christmas projects. Believe me, ladies, we are getting geared up to bring you lots and lots and lots of Christmas. I know, I'm excited for So Christmas. Christmas this year, we'll probably have 60 plus projects ready for you. <laughs> so um, be prepared for lots of Christmas sewing. Okay, so once you do your tack down stitch in the directions, it says to trim. I'm just going to wait and trim all the pieces at once. So I'm not going to trim just yet. Um, but I'm going to place my top fabric down, making sure that it's covering up all of the stitches. And I'm going to do my tack down, which is going to tack down that front fabric. 
other people are saying that they had to turn down the sound so <laughs> i'm sorry we try they we try yeah. okay so the kits there is a gray kit that has this um it's a motor fabric it's called thatched i believe mm -hmm. um and then on the back of this one it has the smell my feet give me something good to eat or there is the purple one which is on a purple like swirl um and that one has the pumpkins and different color pumpkins on there. Pretty cute. Okay, so after I do the tack down, it is gonna do some quilting in the back and I'm just gonna Whoa. throw my thread around. <laughs> <laughs> that went like, that awesome. like 12 feet do. away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, going to change it to a gray thread to just match my background fabric. So yes, the um, gray, who asked me this? Somebody asked me about the gray background. Hang on just a second. Okay. Um, the back, the gray background fabric is available for purchase. Just put that you want the gray fabric and then let us know what yardage you want on it. Okay, so I changed my thread to a gray and it does some quilting in the back. So I just have matched my background fabric. The kits are $3.99. I, I did have a very nice mini vacation, Jerry. Um, I actually um, actually went to where you went about two months ago. So yes, we had a great time. So this fabric that Christine is sewing on right now, um, it's called Fatched. It's actually a newer fabric that we just got in and it actually comes in a lot of different colors and it's a really, really pretty fabric. It's a motor fabric. Hi Priscilla, it's nice to see you on yeah, here. It's easier to see. Okay, so here is the fabric um, that Christine, it's kind of busy almost when you look at it like this, but it's a really pretty good background. Did you show the new fabrics yet? No, we haven't. I'm waiting. There, yeah, there's a quite a few. I'm waiting for a time when Christine is gonna be busy embroidering for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna take you over and show you a new collection of fabrics that we just got in for Christmas fabrics. And if you like metallic, you're going to love this new line of fabric we just got in. It's very pretty. Okay, so I just changed the color of thread to match, or not match, to do the spider web. And you're doing a purple spider web? Sure. Why not? <laughs> do we want to go do that now? Um, yeah, if you want. Oh, if you want to. <laughs> <coughs> or there's this one. Okay. So if you are new to us, welcome. Um, and we're just going to take you through how you can find all of these free projects. Now, they're not always free, but we do try to do a lot of them that are free for you. Um, so they are all going to be posted out on our website. So our website is aboveandbeyondsewing.com. When you go to the website, there is a tab under for calendar. And then under calendar, we have three different locations. And the fourth calendar says event. So if you go to our event calendar, and then you just click on the day you want. Um, most of the time, when you click on the day you want, there might be a PDF on there with the instructions for you to download. Sometimes there is a link that will take you out to the website where we got the design. Sometimes the design is directly on our website, depending on the rules and regulations from where we got the design from. Um, sometimes it's a, there's a photo 
um, and um, sometimes it is either a pattern or a book that you need to buy but that's not necessarily the norm. website for today that the uh, we will direct you to um, so the design shows up at the top of the page but you do have to scroll all the way to the bottom to click on the format and then it'll automatically download so you do have to scroll down a little bit um, to get the link to click on for the design what so how did you do a different this one has two colors oh I did the mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so what color and lettering are you going to do? Like lime green or something? I, yeah, I was doing orange and... Um, orange and purple? Yeah, or green. Um, yes, Bob, we can. I'm probably going to have to give the phone to Patrick um, so that I can go pull those for you. So give me just These a moment. Yeah. Um, if you can give me a moment, I'm going to see if I can hand the phone over to Patrick and I will go grab some colors that I can find of that fabric. Just a moment. Hold, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. You're back. I've missed you guys. I haven't held the phone in a long time. They've taken me off of detail. I don't know what I said the last time I was back here, but it was something really bad, I think. Why? What? No. No, I don't. Not that you. can't be it, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving right along here. Like all our Halloween projects? <laughs> I think yeah, they're really, ready for they something might. Else. <laughs> That's right. And get this month over, huh? Okay, so I um, am going to put black on to do the little spider here. And it'll stitch the spider. So, by the way, while I've got the camera here, I've, we've had some requests to um, show you guys how to do multi-layer uh, fills. Um, for um, your line line images on um, on IQ Designer, um, I was going to do that today, but I don't think I think it's going to have to wait till tomorrow. So we're going to actually do it tomorrow um, as part of the live. I hope. I think we're going to try to do mystery part of mystery tomorrow, and then I'm going to try to do a lesson on IQ Designer either tomorrow or Friday. So just to let you guys know that. We had some people email me, Felicia. <laughs> okay, so then it's gonna do the wording up at the top that says cobwebs, and I'm gonna do that in a bright green. And Lucille, I'm sorry to hear that you don't have an embroidery machine, but we do uh, sewing projects on here too all the time. So don't, yes, uh, we, try to, try to we try to vary it up a little bit. So yeah. we even do serger projects and you just have to go out and get a, an embroidery machine. I <laughs> Don't miss out. I'm going to try to get one of these people on camera. I'm going to just surprise them sometime. I wonder how that works. I do too. Maybe I should watch, see if it says. That's right. But you're sitting right next to me. Then I... Hold on. Let me see if you're watching. Oh. Let's see. Otherwise, I have six chins. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. Where are you? Christine's watching us now, but I can't see her on there. Might not be interacting as me. Oh. Uh, nope. It's interacting as above and beyond. Bummer. Hold on. I think it'd be more fun just to grab a rabbit and a person. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
so we've got this new feature since we upgraded the iPhones that says bring them on camera um, when we're doing these lives. I don't know. Yes, Don, there are kits. There's actually two kits. By the way, you weren't there when I got my coffee this morning. So here are the kits. We've got one in purple, which is kind of cute. But wait, this one's super cute because it's got bling. I didn't even notice that. And that fabric is really awesome. I think that's what Kate's yeah, going to gather up, right? Yeah. It. So we got the gray background and we got the purple background. And that is um, what we're doing today. So those are the kits. I don't know how much the kits are, but Christine, I'm sure, will enlighten us. They're three ninety nine. They are three ninety nine. So oh, we have they're the purple kit or the gray kit. Purple or gray? Yes. That makes sense because <laughs> they are purple or gray. That's right. Oh, but this one's gonna be cute. It is gonna be super Isn't cute. It? Oh my god! It's gosh. adorable. I'm nervous. What is she doing? My goodness you should see all the fabric <laughs> good thing we got some long stitch outs <laughs> oh goodness okay so now i'm going to change the uh to orange and it's going to stitch out um the r part of the decor that that was actually a joke um she said cobwebs are a real part of my decor I stay ready for Halloween all year. <laughs> that was <laughs> that's very cute. That's funny, Ann. I think that was a joke. You're right. It, uh, Halloween is one of those holidays that you don't have to clean. But have you ever tried to put up those fake webs? Oh, they're horrible. They're horrible. They are horrible. <laughs> we have them like wrapped around these two bushes in our front yard, and I'm not looking forward to taking them down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, awful. and you have to like stretch them out, oh, and then you got it. Yeah, it, it is. A, it is a terrible <laughs> idea. That's sort of like the tinsel on a on a Christmas tree. I don't like the tinsel because you have to put them up one string at a time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The um, embroidery no, the design, by the way, is included. Yes, it is a free design, yes. and this is from our friends at the bike shop. I have no idea what the, what is the name of the website again? I can't remember. You I know, we, to, um, we have right a here. BB, we, designs. BB, BB embroidery or BB designs. BB something. Yeah. BB something. But anyway, they um, we will have a link to the uh, pattern, and it is a free design. From them, and so. it's all formats too, so it's not just baby lack. It'll download in all. It has eight different formats, and then you can also download the PDF. Oh, here, here, <laughs> you let me show you that. Download the PDF, and it has a <laughs> breakdown of what sizes of fabric and batting, the stabilizer you'll need um, if you're doing the ribbon. It has all the stuff, and then the step-by-step -step directions in there as well. So you'll get all of that, and it is free. It's just a free download. It's, uh, we sort of stumbled on this site. It's one of our new favorite sites. Oh, so cute. it's, they're very cute. They have lots of other stuff on and there And you too. can buy a bicycle while you're on there. <laughs> it works out really good. I think I've got those fabrics ready. Yeah, I guess. There was, was a lot of them. Okay, are we, are we ready? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> these are all of the colors. These are, aren't even the new ones. These are not the new ones. No, these were new last week. We just oh, got these in. New. Yeah. We've never carried them before. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to start with number one. And I have just kind of numbered these as I go. I couldn't get the numbers put on stickers for you in time. So, Christine, do you want to just go through those? Yes. Do they have names? They, some of them did and some of them didn't. We didn't get the originals. So okay. That would be orange. Well, well yeah, I but know. this is orange. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is number one. It's pumpkin. Well, we're not gonna remember those. Yeah, they don't have them. Can okay. I make up the names? So this is like kind of a burnt orange color ish. It's a light red actually. Light, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a light red. This is a true orange. Number so that would be a pumpkin. Yeah. Number three would be a true orange. Number four is this one. 
That's a really pretty one. It is a really pretty mm -hmm. one. And five. Five is this deep red. Or seven. Six. No, six. Six, I'm sorry. Is a true red. Is a true red. I think, right? Mm hmm. And number seven. Seven is like an orangey red. Mm hmm. This is pretty. That's this like a really raspberry. Pretty. Number eight. Pale number pink. Nine. Number ten. Let's see, like, what's the difference between those two? Um, we may have got two bolts of the same one. <laughs> purple. <laughs> this yeah. is this kind is of a, a really gray. Pretty yeah. Purple. This is a gray purple. It's really, really pretty. And then purple, and then more of like a plum. Oh, that one's really purple. pretty. So cool. all of our fabrics, unless they have metallic in them, are nine ninety nine. It's an everyday sale price. So the twenty percent off does not apply to our fabric because we sell at a discounted price every day. Um, this one's like a royal blue. So fourteen, like a tan for fifteen. Ooh, I like this one. It's like, it's an off white. Yeah. It's not a white white. It's an off white. So Sixteen is an off white. Seventeen is a lighter gray. Eighteen is a deep, like a darker gray. Ooh, this one's pretty. Nineteen. That's is really pretty. It's a really dark deep teal. Yeah. yeah. Really cute. And then twenty is navy. And then kind of like a lighter sky blue. I don't know. Yeah. It's for 21. 22 is a really nice navy blue. Kind of tealish color though. It's not like a royal navy. This is more navy. Yeah. This is like a true navy. This has got some teal in it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So 23 is the kind of more na true navy color. And then 24 is... Kind of, it's like a dark lime. Yeah, it's not a bright lime green, but it's pretty. This is more, sorry, That's 25 okay. is more like a Kelly green, right? Like a Christmas green, yeah. a true Christmas green. It's pretty. I like this one. And yeah, I do too. And this one is like more bright, limey, greeny. And then a sunshine. And then a yellow uh, for 27. So if you guys remember all those numbers, <laughs> <laughs> if you want any, let us know. Okay, and then the fabric that we wanted to show you today is to this. For. It's absolutely to die for. It's so, so pretty. It's really pretty. It is, I, I don't know if you can see, but even these, um, these ones have like metallic in them. So it has like a plaid, it has a gray and black plaid. And then I don't even know what you'd call this, like a kind of looks like the Kimberbell like linen. Probably. Yeah, it does look yeah. like a linen, linen texture. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then it has a Christmas tree with a black background. And, and the Christmas trees are glittery and metallic. They are all metallic. And then it has a red background. And then it also has silver on silver, which hopefully I you can see that because it's favorite. it is so I like, elegant. I like so the red. elegant. It's so gorgeous. I think it's so yeah. The cute. red the red's cool too. It is. And then we have the red plaid at the bottom, and then we have a black one that matches the white and, and the, gray. the gray. So of course we did a half yard bundle for you. So the metallic fabrics are ten ninety nine ladies and gents okay but we did do a half yard bundle and it's 45 dollars for a half yard bundle so you get a total of four yards um and they are finding christmas fabrics that are still in stock was when the rep came in last week i was like i'll take it i'll take it so we actually ordered quite a bit um we're going to ration you ladies on what we're showing you because we need to have more Christmas fabric to show you in a week or so. But we, 
Yeah. yeah. So Christmas. we did we did get in a lot of um, Christmas fabrics with a lot of metallic too. So we got a blue line in that's really pretty. We got some gold Christmas fabrics. So anyway, today we're doing the red, gray, and black collection. The red on the bottom is my favorite. The plaid? Yes. Yeah, the plaid is a really... I think the plaid would make like great linings for things too. Well, yeah, but I can just, it just looks so Christmassy. And we got this one here in a lot of different colors too. So lots of colors coming to show you on those. Yeah, so, good PJ fabric. The plaid? Yeah, wouldn't that be cool, PJs? Who wants to make Patrick a pair of pajamas? <laughs> Yeah, flannel would be much better than cotton. Anyway, so let's go back and see what Christine's up to. So the bundles are $45, and you get four yards of fabric, and all eight pieces do have the metallic in them. Oh, Christine looks like she's about to do a maintenance class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So once it has finished the lettering on the front, you're going to flip it to the back and take your back fabric. And because my back fabric is directional, I am paying attention that I am laying it down the right way. That would be a good thing. Yep, it's a good thing to remember. And then I'm gonna place a couple pieces of tape just at the top and bottom here. So when I go to flip it back on the machine, it doesn't get twisted on me. See how she did that, Kate? <laughs> I did see how she did that. <laughs> and then see, I, I can learn something. The tack down, and so that's going to tack my backing fabric to the front. So I just saw that somebody asked for two half yard bundles. So if that's what you want, that's fine. Don't respond back. But if you want just a one yard bundle of each, just let us know so that we don't cut those up into half yard bundles for you. So then once it does that tack down, you are going to flip and you are going to trim your backing fabric up to your stitches. Are you putting a hanger in this one? Um, no. No? The, I don't, the string that I used, it, I didn't want to stitch over it, so I just hot glued it. Um, <laughs> Patrick? <laughs> um... Do we have any update? I'm not sure if this is the what your question is, Linda, but do you have, she said, did you miss my question about the Solaris upgrade availability? Do you have any updates on that? They're not here. They're not here. <laughs> yeah, we are struggling getting product of the, several pieces of product in, but um, I have no, uh, they say no ETA at this point. At one point they did tell me middle of, October and we're there so I'm I'm no still, tomorrow to, yeah we tomorrow. So exactly <laughs> we'll give them one more day um, I really apologize because I know we needed those upgrades okay so then now. I have trimmed the back I'm now going to trim the front and at this point I'm just going to trim both the batting and the top so I'm just trimming all three pieces sort of in one okay here. and bob if you are referring to this thatched um fabric that i just um grabbed those bolts and showed you all of those bolts on yes all three stores have um should have the same colors um so those are available in all three stores Hey, Patrick, yeah. do you think you could jump onto my computer and in a minute when Christine gets sewing, maybe show them where to go to find the projects, please? Yes. Sure. Okay. okay, you so, can actually do that. Okay, so what we're going to do, I have had a couple of questions I see on here about people asking where you can find the previous projects. Um, so Patrick is going to take you through exactly where you can go find those. So I am just putting a match and bo matching bobbin thread for the bottom and the top so that they both match. And I just chose to do a light gray color and it's gonna do some satin stitching around it. 
Okay, so we're gonna take you over to here. This is how many, by the way, screens Kate has open here. <laughs> you guys should never ever do this because it makes your internet really, really slow. So she's but probably got 37. Here, this is, you need to go right there. I know exactly where to go. Well, I'm gonna show them on another screen. You're gonna open up another window. <laughs> After he's given me such a hard time about having so many windows open, now he's actually gonna open another window. That's right, so we're gonna go to above and beyond sewing.com so all spelled out in all one word above and beyond sewing.com you click on it and that'll take you right to our page and you're going to go to the calendar tab and then go down to the fourth tab which is the events and that's going to take you to our calendar and it has all of the projects that we have so if you wanted to do the um candy pocket that we did with the little ghost, it was so cute, by the way. You need to go get that one if you haven't yet. Click on Ghosty Candy Pocket, and there's a picture of the project. Have you seen all the ones out on our Facebook page? Yeah, I know, people that have people have been, yeah, it was awesome. That's very cute. Yeah. I love it. Keep sharing them, because we love yes. seeing them. That's for sure, yeah. Um, and then you, again, this will go to the website for the design. And then this will go to the Facebook Live. That'll be the tutorial for the project. So again, we've, are you doing that to all of them, Christine? Yes. Yep, so okay. Christine's doing that pretty much to all of them. Starting in August, I think. Yep, so again, we've been doing this since March, um, five days a week. So there are um, literally thousands upon no. hundreds of thousands. <laughs> No. <laughs> so, Jen, I apologize if we were slow in getting something out to you in the mail. Um, I would be hoping that maybe we had to get the product in, that maybe we didn't have the product in to ship to you. So my apologies, my apologies if, um, if that wasn't the case and it took a little bit longer than you anticipated. We'll blame it on Patrick. That's he didn't. Right. He didn't get to the post office <laughs> exactly. on time. Okay, I don't think they will need to see my um, my screen. computer screen anymore. No. So here is the satin stitching that is stitching around. So this is just going to take a few minutes now to stitch all the way around. And our videos are up on YouTube too, right? What's that? Our videos are on YouTube as well. Yes, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we started doing that just about a month ago. So it, it's, we don't have all of them up there, but we have a lot of our, our uh, projects up on YouTube also. Perfect. You know, I could really honestly use this one to show the way they do the layered fills if they wanted to, I guess. Can you download the pattern? Debbie, are you referring to today's pattern? So if you are, yes, once Christine has put the link on our website, you'll be able to follow that link and download this. This is a free design for you. Okay, so apparently Christine is actually going to take you through that process um, because I believe that um, we've had um, some it's issues. A bit it's a little bit different in where it takes you to. So Christine is actually going to show you the steps on that to show you exactly how to get this design. Okay, so this is the so this will be the website that I link to our. Um, um, <laughs> our website and it'll take you directly to here and it'll look just like this so it's kind of confusing because the the picture is right here so you would think you know you could click here and do that but you do have to go to the bottom of the page and there is other files and things like that that they show um, so you just want to keep scrolling until you see this one okay and then it's going to give you eight file formats and I'm just gonna close out of these. So you're gonna click on that link and it is gonna download down over here in the corner for you and it automatically download, downloads that into a zip file. And then you are going to click on that and you'll get all of these files that pop up here for your design. 
and it has all the different formats so you can just download the one that you need and then the PDF as well okay and then if you want to create a folder or you could just drag it directly onto a USB stick or drag it in directly into your machine if you have your machine linked up to your computer as well okay okay Does this do a decorative stitch over the top too? It does, yeah. Just this like zigzaggy type one. So it's actually going to go in and do this decorative stitch on the top of the satin stitching for us here which if you don't want it to stand out as much as this then you could just do you could either leave it off yeah, completely you don't need to put it on there or you could just do the same color as your satin stitching mm -hmm. or you can make it really pop by doing a strong contrast you should just be able to double click on the um, on that folder and it should um, unzip. You may have to extract it depending on what programs you have on your computer. Yeah, I think it unzips it after you double click on it. No, um, you can you can choose um, how much fabric you want. We just try to make it convenient for people that want a sampling and make a half yard bundle. So you can just let us know how much of, um, if there's only one or two fabrics you want, you can just pick those and tell us how much you want of them. Okay. What color are you doing? Purple. <laughs> Well, Rose, you're going to have to watch us later when we are not live. Why? She was late. Ah. Okay. So then for the last stitch that's just going to go over the satin stitching, I'm going to put purple on. And it'll do the decorative stitch. And we're done. So a lot more companies or a lot more digitizers are doing that nowadays. Yeah, where the, they're doing over the, the satin stitch. Yeah, exactly. I like that a mm -hmm. lot. I do too. And that's what I was going to show you in IQ Designer tomorrow, how to do that yourself if you ever want to do it. Um, I do. You do? Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so but let's go over and I'll show you that Christmas fabric again. So you can see here what it's doing is it's doing that decorative stitch on top of the satin stitching. So the Christmas fabric that we are showing to you is this one here. It is a Robert Kaufman fabric line. What's the name of this line, Christine? It is called Winter's... I don't know. <laughs> what is that word? Grandeur. So... Yeah. It is, um, we've got eight different prints here today that are all in the gray, silver, um, and red tone. And then we made these fat quarter bundles. So it's a total of four yards of fabric and it's $45. So our metallic fabrics are $10.99 as opposed to our regular fabrics that are $9.99. So we have the red plaid, we have, let's see if I can push this back a little bit. I can't push it back with one hand because these fabrics are heavy. Here. There, we got it. Whoops, yeah. mm -hmm. it's gonna fall. You got yeah, it? I got it. Um, so it's got the silver trees on the silver background. And then we have the silver trees on the red background and the silver trees on the black. And then we have the two plaids and then we have three different linen type coordinates one is a white background with silver and then we've got silver with silver and then silver on black then and then the two um the two plaids can we turn them back yeah. yes okay. here we go
just do a different color. So Christine doesn't like it, so we will have to stay online for another hour while she does another project. <laughs> okay, so once it does the decorative stitch around the outside, you'll then just trim your project really close. I haven't said that in a long time. Trim! Trim! <laughs> And I just trim it really close. And then what you'll do is just get the ends wet because I did use a dissolve away mesh and the stabilizer will dissolve away. And they really do need to use a dissolve away mesh they for do. this. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And then um, you can either, I chose to do this one. I put a hanger on this one. I didn't put it on the inside. I just tied little knots in it and hot glued it on there and I think it looks pretty cute. And then you also embellish this one with crystals. I did. See how she's put the crystals on there? So cute. So um all of the fabrics are about 42, maybe 44 inches, the standard cotton um whip fabrics. Okay, so then if once you get it cut out, if you wanted to add the little embellishments, you could but then you have your cute little hanger. Perfect. Cool. Any questions? Um, no, I think that is it. Does anybody have any last minute questions? Yay. Um, so we will be doing mystery, mystery. tomorrow. Perfect. So we're gonna start the sewing on mystery nine, right? Yeah, and then I think well, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a um, IQ lesson tomorrow too. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So yep. So that's tomorrow's plan. Okay. <laughs> and Friday's plan? Good, good question. <laughs> we'll, we'll think about that we tomorrow. Have a, yeah, that's event. right. Oh, we do have an event on Friday, so I think we are going to have Kate. I think is going to be doing the, the live on Friday. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Bye, okay. Everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.